Hey everybody, today I wanna to talk about some really common mistakes that I see advertisers make that honestly, they ruin their Google search ads with these, they ruin their Facebook ads with these, they ruin their TikTok ads with these. Um, primarily, I'm gonna be talking about Google search today, but really these apply to all advertisers and these are just three mistakes. So if you can rein in these three mistakes in your own advertising, you're gonna be ahead of 90% of the other people that you're competing against and you're gonna get way better results. So first I'll just cover. So just to get into my background a bit, I've done 10 million in ad spend for real revenue focused brands, hundred million generated over a 10 year career. A lot of that has been in the last five years. I've taught over hundred people advertising one-on-one -on -one, and that number is just going up. I'm proficient in executing and accounts daily and I'm not a guru. So with that knocked out, let's get into it. So common advertiser headaches, poor return on ad spend, low volume, and really tedious and frustrating workflows, right? So these are three things that people get in uh, into a lot of issues with. They're struggling to reach the customers. When they are reaching the customers, they're not convincing them. And whenever they have to go back to the drawing board because they're not getting any sales, they don't have a good process for generating better copy, better creative, anything that really lands, right? So you're stuck on this really bad treadmill, basically. So if you can fix the following mistakes, you're going to save time, improve your sales, and ultimately earn more revenue, whether that's for your personal brand, whether that's for your startup, or whether that's for you know a corporation or, or company that you're working for. The following mistakes, again, can cause bad CTR, low ad relevance, and poor quality score. And if you're any familiar with my videos, you'll know that these are the huge things that impact your quality score and overall impact whether or not someone's going to buy from your ad, let alone even click on it. So all of these lead to really expensive conversions. Ultimately, Google Ads is a game where the goal is to delight people with your ads, website, and your product. That whole journey should be totally seamless, and ultimately, it's about the user. It's not about your product, right? People think about this the wrong way all of the time, and a lot of marketers think about it in the wrong way, that we're shoving our product forward at the user. No, the user is looking for something, and we have to convince them that their needs are going to be fit by our product, solving their problems. It's all about solving their problems. It's not about us, it's about them. A 10 out of 10 quality score comes as a result of doing all of those things really well in a, in a delightful way, not the other way around. It also comes from doing things differently than everybody else that's following the quote unquote best practices. A really good way to think about Google ads and advertising in general is if you see all of the other advertisers looking right and saying that looking right is the best practice, chances are you're going to get really good results by looking left. So ultimately, let me adjust this here. Your goal is to get here. If you are advertising in Google, this is percentage increase or decrease in cost per click at each level of quality score. Most people I talk to and most people in the comment sections are somewhere in this three out of 10, four out of 10, five out of 10 range, maybe even two out of 10 where your ads aren't even serving. And your goal is to get into this promised land of seven out of 10 or above, ideally 10 out of 10. To do that, you need to make sure everything is super locked in and you're not making any of the three mistakes that I'm about to get into. It's all about this idea. Those who think less about making a quick sale and more about helping people make the most money. Now think about that quote for a little bit, because ultimately if you're thinking about making a quick buck or you're up against the wall and you need to make a really fast sale because you're trying to hit a monthly KPI an OKR, a personal objective, right? Maybe you're drop shipping and you've only got a day or two of ad spend. 
it's going to be really difficult for you to serve that user, serve that person in the best way because you're thinking about it from the perspective of what you want and what you need to achieve and less about what they want and what they're trying to achieve. So people that think about helping other people and message accordingly typically make the most money. I agree with this quote. I've seen this personally. I would say this is something to really think about. So let's get into mistake number one. And if you're not a Google search advertiser and you're still at this point in the video, one, thanks. But two, think about, this could be anything. This could be Facebook ad manager, right? This could be TikTok. This could be LinkedIn. I hope it's not Twitter, but it could be Twitter, right? But let's just assume it's Google Ads account. The solution here is that you need to care about the searcher's needs instead of your own. This is something we've already harped on, but ultimately, if you are staring at your Google Ads account, looking at the conversions that you've got in the last seven days, looking at what ads are performing, what ads aren't, you're probably not gonna make great ads. You might make a five or a 10% optimization on what's already in there, what's already maybe working or what's like barely not working and that you take and you improve a bit. But ultimately that's not gonna take you to the next level. You need to, you need to think critically about the searcher's needs and you're not gonna be able to do that unless you are outside of your own Google Ads account. Okay, so the solution here is close the Google Ads tab and go find your users, go find your searchers and figure out what their journey would look like in the most optimal way. Go onto Google, search the keywords, maybe look at the ads, but also look at the organic results, right? The organic results tell you almost everything you need to know, almost every time. Let's go into mistake number two, not doing enough research before writing new ads. This is huge. So if you just are in the cadence of, I need to make a new ad today because I agreed to myself that I'm gonna make new ads every day or new ads every week, your ability to just pop out a new ad that's gonna be better than anything that you've already made, especially if you made some pretty decent stuff, is gonna be, you're gonna be not doing a great job. The solution here is to analyze the search results and pull out information in a way that is going to up-level what you are describing to users, what the value propositions are that are most relevant for them, what the actual search is pulling up, and how your product fits into that conversation. In short, the answer to number two is go to the search results again. The third mistake is thinking that you know what searchers actually want. The reality here is that you always assume you know nothing. Whenever I go to a new brand or even thinking about my own brand or thinking about brands that I work with, I'm always assuming that the reality is I don't know anything. I might have gotten a couple hits. I might have a few things that work. But one, things change really fast. Consumers change fast. Expectations change fast. The world changes really fast. And if you can accept that reality that you don't always know what the right answer is and that frequently you won't know what the right answer is, will lead you to be in a learner mindset where you can spend hours of extra and beneficial research in a market that you've already been working in for years. I work with HVAC clients all the time and these HVAC folks are excellent at HVAC, but do they perfectly know their market when it comes to making the ads? Turns out they know very little and through taking that learner mindset and you know, working with them, 
we're able to really figure out for each market, for each different type of product, for each different type of need, there's a very specific set of words and the way that they're stringed together that will work 10 times, 20 times better than just going in with the best practices, quote unquote, right? Ultimately, great ads sit at the center of charisma, selflessness, and empathy. And I took this graphic from 10 scores, so I'll send a link to that broader blog about writing great ads and selflessness in the description section. But ultimately, it's the language, the process, and the mindset. So the mindset you put yourself in is selflessness. The empathy that you're taking for the searcher is that process, and you do that by looking at the search result. And then your charisma, your ability to craft excellent copy, all come together in your ability to deliver on an excellent ad. This is, this is hard stuff. Let's just say that. It's hard work. But if you can do this really well, that's how you're going to win. That's all I got for today. I'm going to be making a lot more videos, a lot more things coming forward with ChatGPT. Definitely subscribe if you're interested. There's going to be a lot more content. I'm looking to polish things up, get an editor on. I really appreciate everyone coming along for the journey, and we'll talk to you next time.